My journey here to Letourneau, uh, just like anyone's, has been very unique. Um, and I think that's part of what I enjoy about it is that all the students have a very unique story as well. And I enjoy getting to hear some of the students' stories. Uh, I grew up as a missionary kid. And so I always have had a heart for aviation, for seeing what God does in people's lives. Uh, my parents worked around lots of missionaries, and so we had missionaries in our home all the time. And I, I enjoyed being able to see what God was doing in their lives. Um, sometimes through my parents as well and their inter interaction with them. So I was only about eight years old when I told Lord that unless he had something different, I would go into missionary, mission aviation. And um, he opened those doors and continued to guide me down that path. And so my wife and I ended up overseas with Mission Aviation Fellowship in Venezuela, Guatemala. And after that, ended up back here at Laterno for a short time. Uh, before going back overseas again to Uganda and uh, ended up with Quest Aircraft Company with some very unique opportunities there. And so it's just been so amazing to look back and see God walking right there along with us every step of the way and just kind of seeing what He has done to open and close doors. And so Laterno's always been uh, near and dear to my heart. I went to school here. Graduated back in 1983 in electrical engineering technology with the aviation option. And God has used both sides of that degree, both the engineering and the aviation, to open doors al along the way. And that's part of the reason why I'm excited to be back here and working with students again. Um, he definitely orchestrated it for me to be here in some very unique ways. Um, have a very interesting background in a lot of different areas, both the engineering and aviation. But uh, God really closed doors behind me to open this door here. And so it's good to be back with the students. And uh, it's been a very interesting semester. We have students from all over the world and a lot of different countries. And I think my background of having lived in other countries and other cultures has helped me uh, gain some insights into some of the struggles that they're going through too. And one of my biggest uh, desires in the classroom is that not only do we maintain a high standard of quality for the education side of things, but I think it's very important for students to develop a biblical worldview that is consistent with scriptures. Uh, there's a lot of worldviews out there today, and, and even in the church uh, as a whole, uh, a lot of the, I shouldn't say a lot, but some of the worldviews are starting to stray from what scripture actually says. And so I think, think helping students think through some of those questions uh, what is truth? How do I know truth? And how do I apply that to my life is just as important as some of the technical content of some of the classes themselves that, uh, that we work hard to make sure that they are gaining that good foundation that will help them in the workplace. Um, I've worked in a lot of places where Laterno graduates have been. I've been thankful for that, been able to see the background that they have and as important the integrity as well that goes right along with that. So it's, it's always good to see that combination and I think that's very important, uh, not only in the workplace but um, just in life as general. So that's been very exciting for me to see um, the students develop along some of those same paths. Um, there have been some challenges with uh, some of the uh, foreign students, but a lot of that is just language. And uh, some of them are working on their English, and we work through some of those things. And sometimes it's explaining concepts that um, aren't necessarily new to them, but they're new to them in English. 
and so that has been kind of fun to work through them and to get to build some of those relationships. Just on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, you get them in class on a regular basis. So as I've come back to school here, being able to uh, develop those relationships and uh, just kind of work through what my background has been with them to see where I've come from um, in, in the workplace has, has been an exciting place to be and something I've, I've definitely enjoyed very much. It's, it's been a, a very interesting journey um, if I back up uh, to where God has brought me through. Um, it's been very interesting on the mission side of things to uh, use what I learned at Letourneau, uh, both on the aviation and the engineering. Um, I've always had a deep passion for aviation, which is why uh, I went into it in the first place, having grown up around airplanes. But just to see God open doors one uh, step at a time into positions that I never thought um, I would be doing. Um, after mission aviation and spending years overseas to be able to step into some engineering positions that I didn't feel that I was ready for or qualified for uh, and to be able to see God work through me when I've been able uh, to give up control so to speak and say okay God I can't do this you're gonna have to do it through me and to see how he opens those doors and gives you the wisdom to be able to take some of those just one day at a time sometime and go, okay, God, I'm not prepared. You're going to have to help me. And just to see him uh, kind of grow you through that process, not only the process of learning things like managing people, but just to rely on him at the same time and go, God, I need your help. I need your wisdom. And so being able to walk that through and sometimes it's been into expanding responsibilities that you go, no, that's, that's not for me. That's way beyond what I'm capable of. But then to see him take you through that one step at a time, sometimes all he wants you to do is, okay, I want you to be willing to do this. And you go, okay, I'm not sure that you really want me to, but to make that step and go, okay, God, we'll do this first little bit and see where it goes from there. And then to not only gain some confidence in relying on him, but just as he grows you and stretches you in some of those areas has been uh, very exciting. And so I've been able to take that experience and go into some engineering responsibility positions that I never thought that uh, would be something that I would be even interested in or capable of doing and just to uh, have him walk me through those steps and it has required sometimes taking steps that are obviously outside of my comfort zone and sometimes from one company to the next as uh, he closes doors sometimes and opens other, others. Uh, I've, I've always tried to be very sensitive to when God is saying, okay, it's time to move on, to not get too comfortable in one place and just say, okay, Lord, whatever you have for me, I'm open for, whether that's staying where I'm at and I'll stay here as long as you want, but when it's time to move on, I want you to show that to me and just make it very clear that uh, if it's time for me to move on, that I'm trying to listen to him and say, okay, is this the next step? You want me to stay or move on to the next one? And so it's been that process of uh, one position to the next and then most recently coming back here to Laterno. It was a very obvious, okay, Keith, it's time to move on. It's time to take that next step. And so it's been very exciting to be back at the school. This is my first semester back teaching here again. So it's it's been exciting. It's been a challenge, uh, but at the same time, it's been a very good opportunity, I feel like. And God just saying, okay, this is the next step for you uh, to be able to invest back into some of the student lives. Uh, something that I've definitely been enjoying doing. 
and look forward to doing more.